Well, it had to be a racial element from the press. The press were terrible. They had a guy that, that, that probably, I don't think he missed a turn at all in, his, in his, his spot in the rotation. And then all of a sudden they're telling, they're saying that it was drugs. Uh, he didn't want to pitch. He was mad at somebody. And I'm sitting there, I'm looking at this, and I said, well, we're not going by the facts here. This guy's never missed a start. He's never begged off a start. He's started every game that he's been, and he's probably gone, I don't know, six, seven, eight innings and everything. And now he says he's hurt, and nobody wants to believe him. What would you call it? I mean, that's, that's what I said. I said, what would you call it? I mean, it couldn't be anything else. And this was still the South. And I don't care. They still got some people that are still in the press. They're still, and they know they were wrong. And then when they found out what happened, not a one of them apologized. Not a one of them apologized to him. Because it ended up being a cricket injury that, that messed up, that tightened up the artery in his shoulder, and the blood was not getting to his hands and his, and his, and his fingers. I mean, that's what really happened. But then no, nobody apologized. They just said, well, JR is this and JR is that. That was a bunch of bull. What else could it be?